With cases it is possible to optimize your geometry using CFD software like XFlow. This video shows how the connection between cases and XFlow is done. For this example, we use a highly parameterized airfoil geometry created in cases. Here you can see the software connection overview. First we export the geometry for using it in XFlow. Click on your geometry and choose SDL as export type. Other formats like IGS or STEP will also work. Now we will set up a project in XFlow. Start by importing the geometry from cases. Then set up the engine, environment and simulation as you need it. Start the computation and let it run for a few seconds. When anything works fine, save your XFlow project and go back to cases. Now we will create a software connector. Click on connections and choose the software connector. Put geometry that you want to export into the input geometry field by drag and drop. Assign a file name to the export and select your chosen export type. Add your XFlow project to the input files and double click on it to load it as template. In the project template, search for the geometry files and highlight the NFB file. Click the right mouse button and choose Entries, Exports, your exported geometry. You can also create new entries for changing as example the density or the velocity. In this way you can optimize your geometry for varying environments and conditions. For running XFlow in batch mode you will need a script. The script will work for all of your projects. You just have to update your file names within the script. With the script you will start your XFlow project and generate the domain and engine. Furthermore it is possible to export and cite data of the computation for post-processing in cases. For more information about running XFlow in batch mode, you can take a look into the XFlow user guide. Click on the runner and create a new local application. In the local application, choose your script as executable. Now you can start the computation. Click on the runner and then click on the green start button. When your computation is finished, you can add the result files to your software connector. You just need to do this once. Cases will then automatically load the result file for each following computation. Firstly add the numerical data.xml from your computation folder to the result files. Click on it and choose XFlow as type. Then read the existing result file by right-clicking on the runner. In the Connections tab you will find the computation and the results. Here you can choose if you want to display your result values in the Table Viewer or in the Time Series Viewer. You can create parameters and connect them with your results for evaluating your model characteristics like lift in this example. These parameters can be set as objectives for the optimization.
cases offers a selection of different algorithms for optimizing the geometry. With the T-Search for example, cases will automatically change your chosen design variables to minimize the selected objective. If you exported XFlow and site data within your script, it is possible to do the post-processing within cases. Go to the software connector and add the XFlow project case by loading it from the exported data folder. Read the existing files again. Now you have a domain for the post-processing. Here you can choose from a lot of different visualization types, like streamlines, cuts, ISO surfaces and many more. Of course it is also possible to load the computation data in XFlow and do the post-processing there. In the post-processing tab you can find a lot of possibilities to display your computation results. You can also move your geometry within the running computation. In this way you can for example simulate how the flow would react to a changing angle of attack.